Welcome everybody, as all are welcome, welcome back down to the basement where I keep all this stuff. Anyway, we're going to talk about something we haven't talked about in a long while. We got something from the Sim Lab, and I thought we had broken up. Here we go! What we got here uh, from the Sim Lab, actually, even better yet, from the grid. We got a DDU mount. This is long overdue because we got DDUs out to wing wang here, but we got no way to mount them. This is supposed to be the best way. Formerly from another company, I think. Uh, also, I think you might be able to find these files print uh, if you want to do that, or for a hefty sum of money, you can buy one of these. And this holds, uh, you know, the small one all the way up to the big one. Uh, DDU Mount Universal is what they call it. There's another system called the LED system, which is similar. Uh, that's from a different company. Let me get my handy dandy knife here to open this up. Uh, but as far as the experience is concerned, uh, this was ordered online. Uh, we used the PayPal. Uh, pretty much shipped it immediately. And uh, I didn't have to worry about getting any emails telling me that I wasn't allowed to buy it. Uh, so remember, open up, and there you go. So you got some nice instructions here. That's good. Quick start guide is what they like to call it. If you've got more uh, detailed instructions, they usually have them there. You see it attached to uh, a DDU. Cool. Sticker. Very high-end sticker here. I believe another uh, YouTuber had once said that uh, Grit makes really good stickers. So there is an example of really good stickers. Next foam tools and parts it's pre-assembled basically for the most part which is cool because that was one thing that i was gonna wasn't worried about but i was definitely you know oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun trying to get this thing together but uh you know if you've got a uh, speed square or something you should be able to handle the angles and figure everything else out so everything's here you've got a couple of big bolts you've got a couple of nuts Got a couple of smaller nuts. No, those are uh, one 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 set of nuts. You should only ever have one set of nuts, unless you're special. Uh, you can have as many screws as you want with those uh, two sets of nuts, as long as you're careful and are safe. Uh, it's the end of the potty humor. Let's take a look at everything else. Comes with tools, black chrome. What else we got here? That's that part. Here's a right. And here's a left. So I'm assuming what they're uh, going to have you do, and I'm cool with this, is uh, they're going to have you take out your front screws, add these large screws to your front mount, right? Cool. And then... Uh, attach the two well obviously you're going to attach the two together and then you're going to attach it to your front mount like that and then you're attached to your ddu and that's pretty simple Let's see if we can't give this a crack so got our ddu got the ddu 10 for this one uh to keep things square and make it level i got a little speed square there so we can use all these uh angles and whatnot to our advantage so here's our piece that mounts to the DDU. I got screws on there already, so I don't think we need to add any. I do think it comes with screws. Looks like it does. And I'm not sure what those are for. Those might be for uh, hooking it to, <clears throat> I know these ones are to the front mount, and I know these ones are probably to maybe, let's see. Everything seems to be here, so, you know, I don't think, uh, requires any of that oh this is really cool i didn't notice this when i first uh opened it it's got hash marks here for adjustment so you don't really need a square or anything like that you can just kind of make sure you hit it to the right marks neat i like that those guys always thinking of cool stuff so anyway like we were saying here <clears throat> we can get a screw here loosen it up just a little bit I guess we didn't need to 
can just use this. I need a screw. Neat. Slides. So, where's the trick to going like that? Okay. Like that. And there's that. And then you get your DDU. You know, see what I mean? If you want to make it square, just do one of these things. Right? Not how that works. Like that. Oh, it moved. Anyway, flip this thing over here. I got my shield on it still, so it should be safe. And uh, got our DDU screws. Pop those out. Pop them in. And then all the stuff will probably just sort itself out. Like so. Like so. Where you have this mounted is going to be subjective. So like I said, I'm just going to do a little quick look at how this works type video. So there's Mounted to the back. Woo, and she moves. That was bound to happen. Edit that out, please. Said I'm not trying to like marry this stuff together for life. Just want to give it a good show here. There it is. Cool. And then you would take your next piece, uh, depending on, oh, it looks like it's this way. So everything's, like I said, pretty much assembled. Really not much to it, but to uh, put it together. Find that hole, tighten it up, your next piece. Like I said, everything's mostly put together. It's just going to be a matter of uh, tuning to taste, as, as they say. I'm not sure who says that, but sounds good. So just like the manual shows you here, <clears throat> You know, you'll probably be doing something like articulating over like your front mount or, you know, towards your wheelbase or uh, who knows how you're going to do it. You're going to do it how you're going to do it. And that's how everybody does it. So just for giggles here, let's make a move. Oops. This looks like it's crooked. Is that because it's mounted here too? Yep. So it pivots here too. So you got pivot here. So you got a, a pivot point here. So it'll move in this rotation. It'll move back and forth. And then you can do this. They're pretty tight. So you get the idea. Yeah, everything's pretty tight. So probably have to use your wrench. That's provided. There you go. There's one. Wrench provided. The slight. There you go. Loosen it up. 
And uh, like I said, it's going to be weird and, and wiggly at first until you get the hang of it. But once you get it set up, it should look something like this. <laughs> See, it moved on me already. Anyway, just wanted to give you a quick look at how this would look uh, <clears throat> with your DDU-10 or DDU-5. Uh, my case, I'll probably be using uh, an Asher McLaren 4-inch. Uh, I uh, decided to try one of those. You'll be uh, looking at that video next. So hopefully this was a mildly informative uh, addition to the uh, front part of the video. Like I said before, like and subscribe.